I was looking for things to do in my retirement that would get me out of my chair and out doing things. Up near Roper Farms in Holyoke, Jeffrey Nast has been taking care of bees for a few years, but he never had to contend with a winter like the one we just had. Nast saying the warm weather both helped and harmed honeybees. The winter was pretty mild for us this year, but uh, mild winters can also be bad for the bees too. Uh, it's good in some respects because uh, we're, we're not fighting 18, 20, 30 below weather out here. They, they are. But uh, on the other hand, when it's warmer, they're also more active. And when they're more active, they're using more resources like their honey. According to the Minnesota DNR, a healthy bee population is key to helping many of our plant species set seed and reproduce, describing them as our most efficient pollinators. And just how the bees help flowers, NASA says people can consider growing some flowers that help strengthen the hive. There's there certain flowers that I would pick out here, like uh, more so not right now in the spring, of course, in the summer, but towards the fall when the other flowers are all dying off. I like to go after a cone flower, and there's some asters out there. They love the asters, and there's several others. And while people also love honeybees because they can produce plenty of honey, NASA said it's important not to take too much from the hive so they can survive for several months. And we want to make sure we have a real strong colony going into winter. But they have lots of food stores in there, so even though we come out and we take honey off, we're not taking all the honey. We're making sure they have enough honey to get through the winter themselves.